So Ego yeah. asked another very interesting question today that sent me down another Wikipedia wormhole today, which was, um, I've noticed a lot of anti-Ziganism, which is uh, anti-Romani sentiment, out of some European countries with Roma populations. How can bigotry towards the Roma slash Romani people be lessened? Also, do either of you know anything about the Romani uh, Devlai, uh, oh no, Devlaism religion? I have looked online, but had trouble finding info about it since it seems to have only, wait, since it is allegedly only meant to be discussed with, by those within the few clans that practice it. It seems rather clandestine. So um, this sent me down a wormhole of learning about the Romani today. Very interesting. Um, for those people who don't know the Romani, uh, they're more commonly known as the gypsies. And that's the only time I'm going to say that word, just so that people know what I'm talking about, because otherwise that word is a slur. So we say Romani. Anyways, um, I it's it's a very difficult topic. Anti-Romani sentiment has been something that's um, very like steeped across European cultures for centuries. Um, and they've experienced intense persecution. They were one of the most harmed populations during the Big H, you know, during... Let's just mention, uh, just to say the Holocaust. Let's just say the Holocaust. Yes, there, I mean, we don't need, because there aren't even good records of how many Romani there are, like we don't even really know how many were killed during the Holocaust, but hundreds of thousands. Um, and interestingly enough, even though um, in Europe, the most of the Romani population seems to be in Eastern Europe, apparently Pew Research has found that Italians are the most racist against Romani. Um, with like 83% of Italians reporting like a dislike or bigotry towards Romani. Um, that explains why Italy took this, this, the side they took during World War II. <laughs> a bunch of fascists. It's only that. Right? No, they're just a bunch of, no, I'm just kidding. Why am I kidding? Um, okay, is that racist to say about Italians? It's it's data, okay? It's just statistics, okay? We're just like, yeah, no. okay, go ahead. <laughs> Um, I think this is a, a really complex topic. So to be honest, when it comes to the Romani in Europe, I don't understand. I don't fully know at this point the extent to which they are still nomadic. So there is actually a large Romani population in the US. And um, they're, at least what I've seen, pretty impoverished, but they're not nomadic. They like, are kind of in North Carolina and living in trailers and stuff. And they still practice child marriage. Again, this is what I see on TLC. So I'm going to take that with a grain of salt. Um, but uh, I think, so if, if there are communities that still are nomadic, this is going to be a huge barrier um, because it prevents them from um, building roots. It prevents them from investing into a community. It prevents them from investing into um, stability. And I think that um, long-term settlement helps build generational wealth. Um, and uh, there's also just so many, they're just viewed as a criminal population within these countries. Um, and that's a huge barrier to overcome. I know in Eastern Europe, I'm not sure which countries, but I know that there are some like special Romani schools where Romani children go instead of like the ordinary schools and um, for, or for all the other children and that this puts them at a disadvantage. And so I don't know if those schools were intended to kind of give them address their like any special needs that they might have, but it seems like the result is kind of a, like a separate but equal, you know, like real disadvantage. Um, I, I think, mean, technically, they technically they do commit more crimes, um, but that's because of the socio socioeconomic conditions that they are in, right? And even if people like say like somebody was pointing in the live chat that it's also is part of their culture, um, yeah, I mean the culture is a function of <clears throat> socioeconomic conditions, right? Like uh, these are a uh, this is a population that lives under a lot more levels of proper, uh, poverty than others, right? So you would expect that to happen, right? So the problem is that then people, you know, <clears throat> internalize that, those attributes to the, to the ethnicity 
and therefore like they, they become racist or bigoted against them because of the behavior that they have that is technically a product of the conditions that they have been forced to live in right so it's not really fair to them but yeah what do you think um yeah i think it's really complex um mm. i think th um any communities that are nomadic or transitory um it's a at this point i think it could be considered a maladaptive trait because i remember i watched this documentary um out of it was called india's forgotten people and it was about this group called the gadi alohar and i think they originated in rajasthan interestingly enough which is where researchers believe that romani people originally came from as well although i believe at very different timelines um and the gadi gadi, gadi alohar are um iron workers that just move around in carts and it's because during the mogul invasion they were in this city and it got besieged and they tried to fight and defend their city and their king and when he was defeated they said that they pledged to never have a home to always to to never settle and to never sleep under a roof until they got their city back well, they never got their city back. And for hundreds of years, they've still maintained this lifestyle. And when I was watching this documentary, I was just thinking of how the fact of the matter is in the modern age, these people are going to be left behind because they have no means. And they, many of them refuse to settle down and learn new ways to frankly, keep up with the world and remain you know competitive and find new ways to provide for themselves like they are falling into poverty because who needs an iron worker nowadays really when you can get all everything made industrially for way cheaper um right. and we should we should go to a new question no it's, it's just a tough question and you just think like how can these people be helped when a fundamental tenet of their cultural identity which is very important part of every single like our, our identity formation at early age is to move is to right. be on these bull carts like how do you address I, that yeah true i do want to answer some there are some really good live chat questions that i want to make sure that we get to so if we spend too much time we we i think we had oh, well we didn't answer the question about the religion so the religion thing i think um i find it really interesting to see how many of them maintain it, um, parts of Hinduism. Like I re learned today that they worship a saint called Saint Sarah, which also goes by the name like Sarah Ikali. And it's a form of Shaktism. So they they uh, worship Mother Kali and it's another um, uh, like indisputable, you know, link to Mother India. Wow. And there have been politicians in India that say that Romani people should be recognized as part of the Indian diaspora yeah that's interesting i didn't know that hey guys if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy cali you know like me then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter link in the description below because if you subscribe we will send you a free copy of our blasphemous art ebook and let me tell you it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today and we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week so make sure to subscribe link in the description below